Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about sandwich theorem. So what is sandwich theorem? Let's suppose I have three functions. I name it f of x, g of x and h of x such that f of x less or equals to g of x less or equals to h of x and I define it on some open interval a b and if limit if limit x approaches to c f of x equals to limit x approaches to c g of x not g of x it will be h of x is equals to x then limit x approaches to c g of x will also be equals to l now what this c this c will also be in open interval okay somewhere in between open interval a b this c will be somewhere in open interval a b now talk about uh, the result let's suppose x approaches to 0 sine theta by theta is equals to 1 we have to prove limit x approaches to 0 sine theta by theta is equals to 1 by using sandwich theorem okay now there are some problem which cannot be solved by algebraic techniques so we use to solve these sort of problem by geometric techniques so here is one sine theta by theta is equals to one and x approaches sorry it will not be x it will be theta theta approaches to zero so first of all uh, we will explain this diagram let's suppose I have a circle and this is a unit circle unit circle means that the radius must be equals to 1 unit circle means that the radius must be equals to 1 okay first radius is OA now take another point C on the circle and join O to C it will be OC draw a perpendicular sorry tangent to A so it will be a b and join c to b so we will have we will have a triangle o a c this is a o a c and o a b i also draw a perpendicular i also draw a perpendicular from c to from c to d okay now this c d actually shows the altitude of this triangle this c d actually shows the altitude of triangle o a c clear now consider this is the proof consider a circle with center okay now I mentioned theta here this theta must be greater than 0 and will be less than pi by 2 I am talking about acute angle so this will be acute okay first triangle if we look at the diagram this is triangle OAC and this is sector OAC the sector include this curve the curve of the circle clear this is the sector okay now what is sector sector is actually a part of a circle enclosed by two radii enclosed by two radii so 
it is clear from the diagram that triangle area if i talk about the area of the triangle oac it will be less than sector oac it will be less than sector oac and the area of sector oac will be less than triangle o b and a o a b clear triangle area of triangle oac less than area of sector oac and it will be less than area of triangle oa b o a b now what is area of triangle if i talk about the formula for area of triangle it will be 1 over 2 okay what is base here o a into so this is not the altitude a c is not the altitude of this triangle as i mentioned earlier earlier that CD will be the altitude of the same triangle then this will be less than 1 over 2 area of sector is R square theta R square theta we will also prove that how it comes means 1 over 2 R square theta later less area of triangle OAB it means that 1 over 2 1 over 2 and this is base and height will be a b clear now as i mentioned earlier that this is unit triangle uh, unit circle so o a will be 1 and it will become c d o a is equals to 1 because it is a unit circle and unit circle radius is 1 so o a will be 1 less than 2 so here also radius will be 1 r represent radius so radius will it will become theta and now next 1 over 2 o a will be 1 again and it will be a b okay now we have to find c d and a b how to find c d I will mention this triangle O D and C I take sine theta is equals to perpendicular what is perpendicular C D and what is base what is base it will be uh, no, sorry not base hypotenuse it will be O C. So O C is also radius, it will also be equals to 1, then C D will be equals to sin theta. Again, what about tan theta? Tan theta will be perpendicular A B over base O A. So again radius radius is equals to 1 so AB will be equals to tan theta putting the values of CD and AB it will be 1 over 2 sin theta less than 1 over 2 theta less than 1 over 2 tan theta this 2 2 and this 2 will be cancelled out or you can say multiplying by 2 all this by 2 so this 2 from here it will be cancelled out it will also be cancelled out 
or you can directly cancel it out clear now dividing dividing sine theta dividing by sine theta it will be it will be sine theta and tan theta will also be divided by sine theta okay now this will become 1 which is equals to less than uh, sorry sine theta by theta equals to 1 which is less than theta by sine theta and as tan is equals to sine theta by cos theta so the sine will be cancelled out by this sine and it will all only remain cos theta okay changing the denominators just flipping it greater than cos theta okay now it comes the point where we put a limit taking limit where theta approaches to theta approaches to zero if theta approaches to zero if i say limit theta approaches to zero one greater than limit theta approaches to zero sin theta over theta this is greater than limit theta approaches to zero cos theta okay it will become one greater than limit sin theta theta approaches to zero sin theta by theta it is greater than one because as long as theta approaches to zero cos zero is equals to one so i am writing it one now look at here f of x g of x and h of x if f of x approaches to one and h of x approaches to one then g of x will also be approaches to one then limit theta approaches to sine theta by theta is equals to 1 that's the proof clear okay now if i talk about the sector how to find area of sector like this is sector i have this theta this is r and this is also r you can also write it angle of angle of a sector angle of a sector divided by total angle of total angle of a circle and total area of circle okay this will be cancelled out and it will again come 1 over 2 r square theta so I directly write it down 1 over 2 r square theta. Thank you.